2010. People are pretending that Waka Waka is a better song than Waving Flag. It's a total fabrication. And a man with a mildly unpronounceable name just did a madness. <laughs> It's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the 2010 World Cup at South Africa. Get your jabalonis out, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds crazy. We're back on the Nintendo Wii once again because I'm trying to recapture my youth and I won't believe that I'm 24 this year. Come August, I am eligible for a free bus pass. But until then, we're out here and back again. My mat, it has confetti on it. Oh my goodness. I'll be honest with you. I never played this on the Wii, but I did play it on console. This game has crowd Vuvuzela horn locked to on. You just know it's good gonna be a classic of a game. You know what? Let's just get into this. Let's hit the pitch. Don't really know what the pitch has done to us to deserve being punched, but that that's not up to me. You know what? I need to do some training. Home nation. As a man born and bred in England, we're going to choose Nigeria. Come on, how hard can it be? Let's go. <clears throat> Now, uh, what's, oh, I've accidentally had a shot. There's no opposition. There, oh, thank you for the ball, Mr. Goalkeeper. Oba Femi Martins here. Do the business. How Bruv, it made the whole camera shake. The earth was just thrown off its axis. I rate my left back there and his optimism down the line. I haven't scored yet. It's 11 versus one. How hard can it be? I feel ready to win the African Cup of Nations, which is a problem because that's not the tournament we're playing in. Difficulty level medium. Do you think I'm some kind of dickhead? Of course I'm putting it on easy. What are you talking England. I'm not choosing them because they had an easy group. Don't. How were we rated 82 and the team that won the whole tournament were 83? Lads, we were shocking. We didn't even make it out of a group with Algeria and Slovenia in it. Riyad Mahrez was like six as well. And he was still in the starting 11 that knocked us out. And as for Slovenia, next question. I don't know who, who, who's a Slovenian man? It's time for game number one at the Royal Buffer King Stadium. I miss World Cups in Africa, bruv. Why would I not want to play games at the Sunshine Olawa Balaji Arena? Uh, I would like the white kit. They can have the blue kit. I almost clicked on everything being white. Not John Terry, though, so thankfully. Speaking of which, he'll be leading us out onto the pitch, I imagine, in this one. Oh, look at the faces. This looks like I'm playing it on a Nintendo DS. Paul Robinson looks like he's been made on wish.com all just rob we've got emil heskey in the side get him now go on geezer he runs like you'd expect him to as well oh he's whipping out the skill move glenn johnson looks like he's in a 1980s funk band it's gone through Wayne Rooney's face. Is it? I can explain. I was too busy and I wasn't looking at the tutorial. Right, look, we've got work to do here. If anything, we're just playing extremely realistically because this is how England performed at this World Cup. I think the shake button is LB. So I have to just pretend that I've shook it. Lennon, the crowd goes what? The, the crowd sits down. The crowd has engaged back into its seating area. The crowd is asking for a refund. On the edge of the area, it's Wayne Rooney! I mean, it's in. I've been slightly disrupted here by the celebration tutorial. We could have multitasked here. Emil Heskey is going to curse me in my dreams. What on earth was that? We're celebrating having been 1-0 down against a side that genuinely calls this game soccer instead of football. I have conceded again. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to score. Oh, I've actually done it. Oh, I've skipped a replay. Oh, Rio Ferdinand's. Oh, that's that's a, that's GBH. That that might be the end of Rio here. Uh, yeah, he's gone. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to. I'm just going to press. Uh, uh, right. It was too early. Again. The exact same free kick has gone in. Furthermore, why does everybody have a receding hairline? That needs to be investigated. Wayne Rooney's is looking like a Mac DZM. Emil Heskey's a very pacey man. Look at him. Emil, the keeper's out of his goal. No, oh, he's put it in. That's what I'm talking about. Emil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, the positioning of the goalkeeper left a little bit to be desired. 
More of an American football challenge than an English one there from Wazza. At the end of the day, we're drawing to these lot. There's people in Wayne Rooney's street striker that would have put up a better fight. This is through to Wayne though. Oh, the angle is superb. And it's 4-3. Oh, wow. Rooney's got a trick. Look at him go. Never mind, look. Into the air, I've, I mean, I don't know how you win hedges. It's another corner. Why does Glenn Johnson genuinely have grey hair? How stressful has the first 45 minutes been? Terrible ball to find Rooney, but he's got on the end of it. Wazza! Oh, what a finish! Wayne Rooney is, quite frankly, illegal on this game. Right, Stevie G, hit that one, sunshine. What a goal! Questionable celebration. 6-3 here against the USA. I've killed someone again. I'm not sure that challenge is legal in the US from Wayne Rooney. And there's a lot of things that are legal in the US. We are now battering USA. Frank Lampard has done four separate celebrations in one. We've scored seven goals, Frank, mate. You don't really need to be this dramatic about it. I've conceded a bicycle kick, lads. The reality is I've scored seven in this game, but I've conceded a bicycle kick to a centre-back who I'm pretty sure played for West Ham at the time. So who's the real loser here? <laughs> <laughs> Emil is feeling himself. This might be the best FIFA of all time for that alone. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A relatively quiet first game of the World Cup ends 8-4 to England. I can confirm it's coming home. Hi, I'm Zakumi, the official mascot of the World Cup. Zar stands for South Africa and Kumi means the 10 various languages across Africa. My name's Ade Niran. The Ade stands for big and the Niran stands stands for man. Let's get started. You'll play challenges against the 2010 World Cup teams to build your dream team. First, let's name it. Outstanding. Jabha la 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 is on the way out here. It's time to recruit the man dem. They're, they're terrible. They're, they're absolutely shocking. I don't know who any of these dons are. I've got a 46 overall left back. What even is that flag? Where are you? The Netherlands Antilles. Oh, we're in the mud, ladies and gentlemen. You're 43 overall. He's an American virgin. North Korea. I'm afraid you know who I'm gonna have to choose here. This is bound to be an explosive matchup. A game of nuclear proportions. Right, for the goal challenge, I've got to score eight goals against these lot. I barely did that when I was England versus America, and now I've got dons from Antigua and Barbuda in my team. Half of these nationalities I haven't even heard of. He's played it to Munoz. This is a man I don't know. The crowd, they are loving it. <laughs> He's done the right. <laughs> a, shambolic haircut to the left. B, North Korean leaders just put missiles en route for the stadium. Any type of machinery or robots getting cancelled out, I'm afraid. I've almost conceded an absolute screamer to a country that's banned world maps. Look at us go. It's De Jong. Probably not a very good De Jong, if I'm honest. But he scored here, ladies and gentlemen. How is that showing off? He's probably pulled an e-ligament. These lot probably haven't played professional football in four years. Any sort of movement like that and you're putting your hip out. We are dictating the play. Actually, I probably shouldn't say that against this opposition. Munoz. Oh, I think he's done it again. Munoz. Again with the... Please, lads. You're gonna injure yourselves. You're 47 overall, mate. Imagine if you saw this on a weekend at the eighth tier of English football. Because that's the overalls they're representing. Here. If you're on the bench for Fiji, you're not making it into the English league system. This guy is called Vuli Vululu. That's not a real name. These aren't real people. Who are these dons meant to be? Munoz again. Everything's going through him. Nothing is going through him. Gadar. I genuinely thought that said Cheddar. And I wouldn't have even been surprised. Stuart. Fun fact. His first name's probably Stuart as well. That's the level of footballer we've got here. Oh, I've not got to have any eight goals. I've just got to have eight shots. Okay. That's fine, mate. I'm shooting from everywhere. We're going to be fine, boys. We're going to pass with flying colours. That wasn't a foul. That, however, was. So I'll allow that one, referee. Continuing the theme of everyone having a receding airline, the referees is back at the German World Cup in 2006. It's back to Vuli Vilulu. This man just needs a different name. How can I get excited? He's moonwalking.
He strikes it. Why are you shooting from there? In fairness, he's North Korean. He'll probably shoot from anywhere. I can't say that. I'm really sorry to my North Korean viewers. Who am I kidding? You have to use a VPN to use YouTube. You know what? I, I wronged these men. They These are semi-competent footballers, ladies and gentlemen. Now Cheddar's on the ball, and he's put it right in the top bins. No FIFA cheese about that one. Greatest goal of all time! And he's brought out the worm to celebrate with. That is an absolutely unbelievable goal. What? On the spin? What is this? No, 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 no. That is absolutely outrageous. That, that is the greatest goal scored on the FNG channel, and I will have no words to say about it. Wow, 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 ladies. That's a terrible foul. Uh, let's back down to reality. It's a red card. Hong Yong Joe is not happy whatsoever. Stuart Stewart is off. So Cheddar's on his way through. He can get himself the hat trick. It's Cheddar, and he's done it. And we have absolutely demolished North Korea, which in in some instances would be an act of war, but in this case, I promise it's not. If anyone is watching who's in a place of power, can we just end this game? I've got places to be. The final whistle is blown. It is a 7-1 victory for the shabba la 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 11. And I think with that, ladies and gentlemen, that will round up today's retro FIFA video. If you have enjoyed, then feel free to slap a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want me to play this again on stream, then you can just let me know down in the comment section. My Twitch is down in the description. You can also follow me on social media. It's at the official FNG on Twitter and on Insta. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye.